Hi, welcome to chemistry class with Flash Isaac. And I advise you to take this class very serious because the knowledge of chemistry is very significant. In fact, almost everything in existence is made as a result of the application of the knowledge of chemistry. Things around like plastic container, food, drugs, and so many more are made through the application of the knowledge of chemistry. Uh, today, we'll be taking you through the particle nature of matter. Now, we know that chemistry is the study of the composition, properties, and uses of matter. The composition, properties, and uses of matter. So, many uh, matter is is composed of something, it has properties, and it has uses. So matter is not useless. And matter is composed of certain stuffs. And these stuffs that cover matter have properties. So this is what chemistry talks about. Now, what is this matter? Is it discussion, gossip, gist, or what you already know? Fine. Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. So this implies that matter is not abstract. It occupies space, meaning you can see it around. You can feel it because it occupies a space. Now, look around you. What can you see around? What can you feel? What occupies space and what has mass you will discover that it's almost everything almost everything you see around are made up of matter or they are matter for example this marker your tv board they are made up of what matter and this matter exists in different states so almost everything you see around in one way or the other belong to the family of matter in one form or the other. Matter exists in different states. It can be solid, it can be liquid, and it can be gaseous state. Now look around the things you see around. It's either they are solid, or they are liquid, or they are gases. So this is a solid. One is strong, and the forces between them is very strong, and you can hold them. We have another state of matter, which is the liquid state, like water, kerosene. You can see they are liquid state. They are liquid state. You can pour them. So the force of attraction or the force holding them is not as strong like that of solid. For example, I can't put my hand through this, but I can dip my hand in the water or kerosene. So that is a matter in liquid state. Then we have a ligation state, like smoke, oxygen. So these ones, their particles are far apart. You can actually feed them. So they are loose. You can put your hand in between without feeling anything. So solid, they have shapes. Liquid, they don't have particular shape. They take the shape of a container. For example, if you bend this and there's a hole inside, you pour water inside. Looks like the water we also bend, we take the shape of the container. Like pure water takes the shape of that uh, paper. Can water take the shape of the can? So your drum, the water bends to that shape. So liquid have volume. The gases, they also they don't have a specific shape. They don't. So they bend around corners, they move around, and they take different shapes. And gas, uh, gases can be compressed. So you see, the study of chemistry is taking us to matter, it's taking us to mass, it's taking us to space. So now, what is matter? Uh, mass. Mass is the quantity of matter a substance or a body possess. Quantity of matter. Quantity. Mass is different from weight. Yes, weight is is the earth pull on the body. For example, if 
the you can measure mass in kilogram kg if you take 5 kg of rice to anywhere it is still 5 kg because that is the mass it doesn't change but weight is as a result of gravity so the value of gravity determines the weight of a body for example around us where gravity is approximately uh, 10 meter per second square the, this uh, mass 5 kg the weight of this body will be 5 times 10 which is that should be 5 times 10 is 50 so that is the difference between mass and weight Ma uh, weight is mass times gravity of a body now uh, that's that for that so we know, uh, know that matter exists in different uh, states now there are different types of matter and there is a belief or there is a law or there is idea that matter is made up of what particle in fact this is why we are studying particle nature of matter scientists believe that matter is made up of particles and what are these particles these particles are atom molecule and ion these are the particles that matter is made up of and in this matter also matter exists in different uh, states and there are different types of matter types which are element compound and and mixture so we'll come to this now the particles in matter what is an atom what is a molecule and what is an ion atom is the smallest part of an element that can take part in chemical reaction you see this is bringing us to this smallest part of an element that can take place in the chemical reaction an element is a substance that contains one type of atom it cannot be split into simpler form it can't be split it contains only one type of atom and it cannot break it down into uh, simpler particles now compound compound contains one or two elements chemically combined so let's say element plus element plus element this is element when you combine this chemically it forms compound the mixture contains two or more elements physically combined for example when you uh, pour sand inside gary or rice it is mixed right but in that case it is physically combined and you can separate them however when you combine elements chemically you may not be able to separate them and it has another character entirely for example when you have hydrogen and oxygen oxygen is on its own hydrogen is on its own they have their own properties but when you mix these guys together hydrogen and oxygen it gives you water so water has another characteristics on its own so this compound and mixture so element contains one atom compound contains two or more elements combined together mixture contains uh, elements combined together but physically not by chemical reaction even the air we breathe is a mixture air contains nitrogen oxygen and other gases okay now atom is the smallest part of an element that can contain that can take part in chemical reaction and an element can have two or more atoms or single atom an element with one atom is monoatomic when an ele uh, element has more than one atom two is diatomic
three is triatomic, four is tetraatomic, five is polyatomic. So atomicity is the number of elements an atom possesses. Still, an atom, as the smallest particle of an element, atom, smallest particle of an element that can take part in the reaction, it still has particles. Atom has from particles in it. So they are called subatomic particles. Okay. Hope you've gone through this. Take a look at it once again. You can take a screenshot of it. Okay. Uh, now let me show you something. So atom has particles. It has that's the uh, proton, neutron, and electron. So these are particles inside atom. Remember, uh, particle nature of matter. Matter contains particles like atom, molecule, and ion. But atom has its own particles, subatomic particles, which are proton, neutron, and electron. Now, if this is an atom, Okay, so uh, let's say this is inside, this is outside, this is an electron. It revol it moves around the atom. So as electron here, you can have electron here as many. So inside you have proton. Inside the atom, you have neutron. So proton and neutron are the center of the atom. So Proton and neut uh, neutron together makes up what is called nucleus. Nucleus. So while the proton is positively charged, the neutron doesn't have charge. Then the electron is negatively charged. So the charge of electron is the same thing as the charge on the proton, but they are opposite. So if Charge on electron is let's say minus 1.602 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. That of electron will be positive. So the charge of proton is equal and opposite to that of the electron. With this, the atom maintains balance. Okay? Now, these are atomic particles. Electron proton and neutron. Now an atom can lose or gain charge. Now this is an electron. This is proton. They are part of atom. Now it can lose or gain charge. For example, this is sodium. If um okay we we'll, we will soon go into that these bases so there are many things we won't touch many as you follow the class we begin to dig deep into chemistry into the roots into a lot of stuff that we can't go into now just follow you see a lot of stuff so let me just give the introduction as introduction okay so that's basically introduction to atom now molecule is a substance it's the smallest part of a substance which exists on its own smallest part of a substance which exists on its own and still retain the property of that substance like um, hydrogen molecule H2 have Cl2 so these are molecules they can contain two or more atoms so they are the um, smallest part of a substance which exists on their own and still retain the property of that substance there's something that there is ion. Ion is an atom or group of atoms which possesses charge. Ion is an atom or group of atoms which are charged. So when an atom is charged, it's called ion. 
an ion can possess two charges, either positive or negative. A, pot a positively charged ion is called cation, while a negatively charged ion is called anion. So that is it on the particle nature of matter, atom, molecule, and ion. Matter, electron, proton, neutron, and atomicity. So this is to introduce you to chemistry. With every passing lecture, or with next lectures, I will be going deeper and deeper and deeper until we get to the root. Hope you understand this introduction. Let me know if you have questions or contribution. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this.